Hi guys, and welcome back to this video. So I can't believe it, but I literally have two and a half weeks of my MSN practicum. As many of you know, I'm a sponsored FlexPath student at Capella University, and I'm doing my master's degree in nursing right now for nursing education. I have officially been in my master's program for a little over a year, actually like a year and five days, literally, from when I'm recording this video. And I have two and a half weeks left in my practicum. And if you don't know what a practicum is, basically I have a hundred hours that I am doing at a clinical site and then I have my coursework that goes along with it. I am doing my practicum with a, a nursing preceptor who's a manager and she also has a history in the educational um position so i'm kind of getting to see both worlds of management slash education and i'm focusing my practicum on early mobility on one of the units in the hospital so focusing on um basically how to increase early mobility practices on the unit. In my practicum, I pulled some data and found one unit in particular that was struggling more so with early mobility. And so I decided to focus on that unit to try and increase early mobility practices. I have done a ton of research, a ton of education with a lot of the employees and I have interviewed them to find why is early mobility such a struggle on this unit and found out that a lot of them are struggling with time management not having enough help or resources, staff, etc. And unfortunately, I can't really change the staffing ratios in my master's practicum, but I can help boost morale and change people's attitudes and how they prioritize early mobility amongst their patients. So I've really been focusing on doing a lot of educational content for these nurses on early mobility, the importance, and some tips and tricks for increasing it. There's a couple of things that have surprised me and challenged me in my practicum. And I think one of the main things is how to kind of step into that educational leadership role. Even though I'm a preceptor in the ICU unit that I work in right now, it's different when you're educating a big group of people. I really had to focus on using different educational approaches and strategies for the different personalities of nurses, different experience levels. I've been able to pull from some of the courses that I've taken through my masters of different educational approaches. And now I'm heading into the implementation and evaluation portion of my practicum. So implementing all these intervention strategies that I've come up with and I've learned through my practicum, implementing them and now I'm evaluating them. And I, luckily I've learned a ton of different evaluation tools and I've been able to apply that to my practicum. And in like the next week or two, I'm gonna be pulling data again to see if my interventions have actually been successful in the unit that I have been on. Another component that I've really loved in my practicum is just getting to know the nurses on the unit because even though I work at the hospital, that I've been in my practicum at, I don't work on that unit. And so I've got to know some of the nurses and I really want them to feel like I'm giving them useful information on this topic and that I'm kind of like a resource or buddy to them and an educational mentor to them rather than just the student coming in being like, uh, guys, can you just do this for me so I can collect my data and be done with my practicum? No, I really want to make this a meaningful experience for them as well as for myself. Anyways, that's a little update on my practicum experience and I'll be done in like two and a half weeks, which is crazy. And I'm sure I'll update you guys on the final of everything of being done with my masters and how it feels and right now i'm just like in the nitty gritty of it i'm down in the trenches i'm super busy but it's been nice because i can work things around my schedule and life is just busy and crazy and it's nice to just add this little component into my life and I'm excited to be done. I'm excited to take what I've learned and look for career opportunities and I'm just excited. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All of Capella's information is down below and I'll see you guys next time.